Hi guys. Well, yesterday the mailman showed up with my new NASA H flight control for my Align 600 electric. Some of you may or may not know that I am redoing the head and everything on my 600, and I decided to go with the NASA H for the flight control, especially after building the, my QAV 500 quad, and I put the NASA flight control with the GPS on it and the ease it was to learn how to fly that thing was just unbelievable. Guys, if you guys are novices and you're learning to fly, this is an almost must if you can afford it. And as a H with GPS does everything my NASA on my QAV does, except for it doesn't have the um, return to home feature. It will, however, if it loses a uh, transmitter signal it will hover wait to and wait to acquire the signal and then after a while it lands itself where, where it's at where the uh, NASA for the uh, QAV if it loses a uh, transmitter signal it will hover for a while wait for a signal if it doesn't get a signal it automatically return to the point of takeoff and land there anyways I'll show you what came with it okay first of all is the flight control okay this here is the brain of the operation, all right? Well, you plug in uh, your wires from your receiver on the one end, and then the other, other end, the wires go out to all the individual servo, servos on the helicopter, all right? You, de you need a seven channel uh, setup for this to get it to work the way it's supposed to. I don't know if it'll, I don't even know if it'll work on six channel on a, on a six side, but I know you need at least seven channels, all right? Because it's got seven channels on it. All right, so there's the flight control. Okay, we'll put that over there, make room. Next, they give you these um, seven short uh, servo wires here to connect between the RX and the flight control. All right, this is what you use. All right, they're not real long, so you got to put everything pretty close together. Next, this is called the LED unit. Right on this one end here, you can see the mini. USB port there. You plug in your USB cable to your computer and this is how you program this by plugging it directly into the computer. Alright, that's what that does. And then there's a light here too which indicates when you have GPS signal or not before you take off you're supposed to wait for it to acquire the GPS satellite. And it also has um, different codes that will flash to tell you different things that are going on. It'll get, it gets, it's got a battery indicator when this thing starts rapidly flashing red. That means your batteries are low, it's time to land. Uh, then you can set all that up through the uh, program to specific cell voltages in your LiPos. And when the uh, cell voltages drop to a certain point, then this will start flashing yellow first. This is a warning that it'll start flashing rapidly red. When it starts flashing rapidly red, bring it on in, because otherwise it's going to land by itself, wherever it's at. <laughs> okay, next we have what this looks like is a extension to plug between this and this. This plugs, or the, this plugs in here, and then this plugs into your flight control. So in case you need a longer wire, um, Different size helicopters, of course, are different sizes. So, of course, I've got a big one, so I'm probably going to end up using this. All right, next thing we have is the USB cable. This is what you plug into your computer to program everything. One end plugs into the computer, the other one plugs into that uh, LED module. All right, next, I've got a, the, the DJI BEC. All right. Okay, one end here plugs into your um, um, re RX, and then the other end, you can see the red and black wires here, if you look real close, um, those go to the uh, battery. And what this does is it eliminates the second battery, um, so you don't have to run two batteries, saves you weight, saves you bulk, and it's adjustable from 11 volts to 52 volts for the input and from 5.8 volts to 7.4 volts for the servos. All right, and uh, also this opens up more options for your NASA 
uh, to run on, and um, they're in the future they're going to come up with some program updates to update the flight control, and this is going to be a key for it. Uh, I think they're supposed to come out with the return to home feature, and you need this BEC for everything to work, otherwise you only get certain options um, you know, that will work with the NASA compared to the, all the options that it has. All right, then here we have the GPS module. All right, everybody knows what GPS is. This is what tells. This is what controls the whole thing. All right, when I'm flying my helicopter in GPS ATT mode, it will fly virtually itself. Uh, to lift off, all I gotta do is give it throttle. It'll lift off. It'll stabilize itself. I don't have to give it no right, no left rudder, no. No, no right left cyclic or anything it'll hover by itself and another really great feature is in this is guys i done it with my qav i flown it in 20 plus mile an hour winds in gps att mode and you can virtually set the tx down on the ground and walk away from it and it'll hover, it'll stay in one spot, it will not move. The wind will not knock it off its course. Okay, and then here is an extension also for, for the um, GPS because the GPS gets mounted on the tail boom um, far enough back on the tail boom that the uh, blades are not affecting the GPS signal because it will affect the GPS signal. Okay. Now, here is some assorted mounting tapes and uh, such to mount everything. And here is the mount that goes on the tail boom right here. You put the, the tail boom this way and you use a wire tie, nylon straps, whatever you want to call them. And strap this to the top of the tail balloon, and then, then that mount the GPS module to it. Well, there you go. A complete NASA H system. Guys, it's not cheap for this system. I paid $459 for it. And it's money well spent. Especially to somebody like me who is prone to crashing and spending so much money on repairs. If this works the way they say it's supposed to work, and the way I'm hoping it's, it works, it's going to save me a lot of money in crashes. Guys, no, it's well worth the money. I'll let you guys know. I'll probably work on the heli next week or this coming up weekend. Try and get some of the stuff mounted up and everything. So I'll get re-attached re, re, uh, with you then. And we'll let you know what happens. Okay? Bye for now.